Hey gamers, welcome to episode three of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're we're out in the open now. Nature is calling our names. And what I'm really excited about is I could do some side quests. Because uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I didn't do very many side quests at all while I was playing in the main playthrough. So I'm excited to kind of just explore the world. I've heard it's like, you know, it, it's a decent enough of an experience to do. I do feel like it's way too loud though. Holy cow, that's loud. Sorry, gamers. And sure, we could rush to the objective. Transmutation materials. This is where we can craft some things on the go, which is really nice. Not having to worry about stocking up a whole bunch on potions. Sick. This theme is just incredible. Hey, hey, for Chadley, for Chadley, I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be assessing all day and night. Oh, well, the orcs are weak to fire. Yeah, uh, I gotta assume these little Mandragora things are as well. Hold on, hold on, before it dies, I don't want to kill it yet. Ah, oh, shit, too late. Dang it. Come on. Okay. Just, let's just do one fire. Orke has more health. Yeah, they die pretty quick. Okay, hey, Red. I love you, homie. I cannot in any universe have you in my party over Tifa. Let's get that straight. I'm basically just gonna be my character in Baldur's Gate where I'm just rolling with the baddie squad. It's Tifa and Aerith all day. Party, how, where, where, where's, where's, uh, where the heck is party settings? How do I see? Oh, here we go. Edit party. Beautiful. Love you all. Excited to spend the day with you. Got more monsters over here. I really also need to send or to set fire to one of my quick. <laughs> Just spamming shit. <laughs> this guy's got to be so pissed off. They're getting juggled in a Mortal Kombat match. Also, let me verify, am I on easy or normal? Okay, I'm on normal. Just had to verify. Yeah, I don't want to struggle a whole bunch. And doing quests will hopefully help me not struggle. Doing side quests. Give me some extra XP. Because my goodness, on the main playthrough, I had a I had one or two boss fights that I had the boss down to like pixels of health and I died each time and I felt like I was fighting for 20 minutes at a time. So I had to restart 20 minutes later, died again, 20 minutes later, that it was, ugh, they were so freaking close. Tim did tell me to just put it on dynamic difficulty, that that would help my issues.
it does seem like if you are extremely goaded at this game, that dynamic will naturally just kind of raise the difficulty of your game anyway. Well, I don't think... I, I never came over here last time. Can you hop up here? Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. Oh, word? Could have sworn that one was gonna break. Whoa! Grassy viaduct. You may be able to find supplies. Cool. Another one. Is this the third one? Word? They're gonna put them all here? Oh, I love that. Oh, that's great. Dude, Cloud has hops. Cloud could have been a D1 starter. For, like, Villanova or something. And real quick, let's just do another little graphics comparison. Performance mode. Graphics mode. It's a lot more sharpness to the flowers. It may be a bit tougher to tell on YouTube, but just trust me. Just trust me, okay? I've never led you astray, ever in my life. Back to performance mode. And on with the gameplay. Uh, let me just verify... Yeah, okay, we want to go there. So this card shop was closed off to us. It's the one that had the locked door. But I, w I wonder if maybe I talked to somebody. Because it's a card shop, and I got to assume it's Queen's Blood card shop. Unless you're selling, like, green cards. Or fake IDs. Did you ever have a fake ID? Let me know in the comments down below. I never did. I was always way too scared, paranoid about breaking the law. I promise I'm not a narc. I, I, you know what? Don't tell me. I don't want you all to think I'm a narc. It, it sounded like a very narc-like question, and I realized that after the fact. Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. Oh, what the heck is up here then? Well, let me go down here first. Hey, oh, who are you? Just, just people hanging? Oh, shoot. Okay. I thought y'all are going to have a little mission for me. Hey, you must be Cloud! Uh, Daniel's been talking all about you, haven't you, Daniel? Yeah, I have been talking about him. His name is Cloud Strife. He's a terrorist. You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. Oh, from the Bloodborne guy. Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Bloodborne friend, this is his friend. I want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. All right, sounds good. Co-conspirator. It looks like it says Co-conspirator. Oh yeah, we got some leveling up to do. Syn Synchro Cyclone, me and Tifa doing some magical stuff together. Absolutely. No doubter. Oh, I didn't realize I could stay there. Bodyguard. Ask your partner to defend you while you move about the field. Oh, that's kind of neat. Tifa makes use of Aerith's magic to deal damage across a wide area. That looks awesome. I also forget that these are five at the start. 
later on I got used to not leveling up a whole bunch because I only had or they were like 10 points and I would only ever really have like five at a time you don't gotta exit Andy you can stay there all right that's unlocked team up with a partner do a jumping attack unleash an ice magic attack without expending MP those moves are kind of fascinating they're they're kind of they're kind of odd but um instead of using like an ice spell it's just in like your normal abilities and it's like ice barrage and it doesn't use mp is there a way for me to just to like auto set these sure there is I can look into it. You'll have to wait and find out. Not much of an improvement on the Punisher mode, but it's all good. Are we still poor? We might we might be. I <laughs> meant we have like no money. What are cushions? Cushions are things you buy and you take them to uh Every once in a while, you see that little baby chocobo walking around. It's like, <coughs> and you go follow it around. It takes you to like a little uh, rest stop. Stop at the rest stop, buy some snacks, buy some Gatorade for the road. Oh, we're going up there. Yeah, I want to go up to the this spot. I think I know what this is. You just take some crops from you. Don't don't mind me. Hey, no, I may I may definitely not know what this is. I don't think I know what this is. I do not know what this is. Never mind. I've never been here. Hey, what's up? Magnificent, isn't it? Uh huh. A Republic original. Oh. Thought you had a mission for me. Thought you had a mission for me, Mildred. What are you doing? I'd like to jump off, please, Tifa. <laughs> Magnificent. I mean, this place is. This place looks like the end of Saving Private Ryan. Like we're <laughs> all the tanks are rolling through, and remember that one dude sticks a little mine on the the wheel as it as, as the tank is going through, and it knocks the tread off. That was so sick. It wasn't a mine, but it was like they used like sticky tar or whatever to. That was so cool. I had to be there. You had to be there to understand it. Oh, sorry. I can't. I, I can't believe I never like ventured all the way up there the first time. Well, I did say I didn't do any side quests, so that shouldn't be too surprising, but. I'm still surprised. It's so hard for me to not gather materials. And I'll tell you why. It's because this freaking Razor controller, it feels so good just to hit the button. I want to hit the button all the time. Was this an advertisement for the Razor? Is this a hashtag ad? No, it's not. I spent $250 before tax on it. But it lights up, so that's pretty lit. And, the, and every button feels amazing to hit. Although I took it to work, and it was like, everybody, come feel how awesome this controller feels to, to hit. And nobody thought it felt awesome. Well, no, maybe only Kevin. I don't know why. It, it pissed me off, honestly. I was mad at everybody. Allow me. Weak to ice. Here we go. 
massive move. Oh, I forgot that I haven't really set anybody's... Anybody's abilities. Oh, we didn't even get to use it. Yeah, I forgot that, uh, <laughs> I don't think I set really anybody's. Did I give everybody extra materia? No, I definitely did not. I also think the first time around, I had a lot more materia. Just period. Yeah. Can't really give any materia out if we don't got it. So never mind there, I'll have to just buy some materia later. With what money, bro? <laughs> You're poor as shit. Why did you waste all those, all that money earlier? It is what it is, man. You all are aggressive. Piece of cake. I got your number. Fire and ice. Just where you just punch me in the cooter when there's shield from ahead, from above, or from in front. Say the right word once, Andy, please. I see impulse. That's that's the uh, that's the non spell move, the one that doesn't take any MP. And we're gonna do it again right here. Oh no! Actually, you know what? Let's let's use MP this time. Because. Blizzard is such a sick move to use. I, lo I freaking love the way Blizzard hits them and they they bounce up and they land on it. It's so cool to see. If it ain't old Billiam. Oh, fancy meeting you here. I don't know who he is. The right to call uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Radio he just looked straight into the camera. He knew. He knew he was on camera and was like. Time to self-promote, you know. Butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. I'm not trying to get laid. I'm not trying to get laid, okay? My name is Cloud Strife. I'm not trying to get laid. Mm, but why not? That's like that's what that's an Aerith and say or some shit. Wasn't a very good Aerith impression. I'm looking back on it. I've had time to reflect. <laughs> Take on more of these big ass dudes. <laughs> right in the cooter. Get him in the cooter! Get him in the cooter! Bam, 
Cooter, cooter, cooter. Here we go. Bam! Sorceress Storm sounds so sick. That's an awesome name. Sorcerer's Storm is a cool name. It's hard to say, kind of. Maybe it's not that awesome. <laughs> Sorcerer's Storm. I gotta quit opening the menu and just play the gosh darn game. Alright, we're on the right path, though. We're headed the right way. Oh, okay, you wanna fight. This son, this son of a gun wants to fight. Oh, so does this dude. Did I already assess you all? Allow me. Ice, okay. All right. It's on you. All set. Get the toxic rat. Get the toxic rat, bitch. I actually. You might hit the wolf with that. Oh, never mind. You did. Oh, that didn't even hit him. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, you're so lucky. You're so lucky, dude. Someone looks kinda shaky. Bam. Oh man, we don't have any like fire moves. It's so sad. I think the first thing I did when I when I played on the other playthrough was like I just bought I used all that extra money to buy extra materia and just gave everybody like a decent, a smattering, if you will, a little, uh, a little appetizer sampler. Which, by the way, Tim Gettys made a tweet the other day that I, I, I don't know if I could agree with more. Or he said, every time I, I, I would order. Us, uh, like an appetizer sampler every time, but I, I fear, I fear being judged, and I totally get it, man. I got your number. Like you're so right. Oh damn, they both died really quick with the fire. They, they weren't even weak to it. I think they're just weak to everything, to be honest. Oh, what we could do right now is we could make a couple of potions. Bam. Oh, we can only make one. That's fine, though. We actually may have been able to make two, but it's all good. Da -na -na -na. See, I never even traveled out this far. <laughs> I just, I just stuck to where I needed to be. A little biome shift, some volumetric fog, creepy vibes. What's out here? And more importantly, what awaits us? Damn. Some good little items this far out. Like that. Can I fight y'all? No. Get these little goldens over here. like an old republic landing could borrow a boat make our way across then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit juna sure why not you'd trust these rotting hulks 
I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Oh Be no. Weird. But even if you're slow, Big snack. you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? It must be so painful to be Cloud right now. I'm just like, God. I'm just bricked up 24-7. Like, holy shit, man. <laughs> Let me give me a break. Sleek saber, new sword unlocked. I never used the. Uh, I never used any of these secondary weapons. Fire bolt blade imbue yourself with fire and lightning while slicing a foe. Can use while airborne. But focus thrust is so sick. The stagger ability. Oh, dang, dog. Although. Although. We have three. We have three little. Uh, we have one extra materia slot. On that sucker fucker. Unrelenting Punisher. I gotta buy, I gotta find somewhere to buy more materia. We're gonna do that like ASAP. Man, this this spot in particular just looks hella. Hella blurry. It's just, it's just so much cleaner. It breaks your heart, you know? Much cleaner image but Lord I don't know if I can do it I don't know if I have the power within me just, I'll just play with a sharpening filter <laughs> they're not <laughs> make it look terrible <laughs> That little side move, bat, 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 that's so nasty. Relax, Cloud. You're being so nasty right now, dude. I know I'm supposed to go that way, but I want to go this way first. And I don't care who knows it. Oh my god, big ass bird. Uh. Fire and ice. Take the lead. It's on you. I'm coming. Let's do a little. Uh, oh my God! You don't even have a cure. Are you kidding me? Oh, you got to be cured. Go on. Get ready. Maybe I'll just. Maybe I'll just get it up to. This one's two bars. That's a pretty, I mean, that's, that's a big chunk of dew. Got it. 
Massive stagger. Bam, dog. Oh, sick. What could be up here? Just kidding, I already know, but I'm gonna surprise you, the viewer. Hurry up, come on, let's get, there. Let's get up here, come on. Look at that, a little fast forward for your YouTube crowd. If you appreciate that little fast forward, let me know in the comments down below. I probably should, oh, it's not gonna let me do it yet? Oh, shit. Hey, never mind. Pretend, never mind. This happens later. It's something you do later. Damn it. I forgot. I gotta have a little Chadley talk to me first. Gotta talk to his little freak ass. Cloud, I believe that, I'm pretty sure that, um, I believe in you that you could land and survive that fall if you just jump from the top so I don't have to climb down every time. I trust your abilities, I trust your athleticism, and your sheer will to survive. Got some suckers up ahead. Oh, and the bird. There's a bird here, too. God dang. Let's hit the bird first. Time to burn. No holding back. Yeah. Holy shit. All right. Oh, ho, ho. Bitch ass. Firebolt blade. Oh, let's go. Oh, ho, ho. You're done. No time to celebrate. Super sick. I didn't even realize I equipped this sword. <laughs> I thought I still had my normal Buster sword on. Well, that means that I have an extra materia slot, even though I don't have an extra materia. What a perfect conundrum. Ships are still way out there, huh? Don't hold back. Here we go. It's on now. Oh, parry, bitch! <laughs> Mixing up fire with electricity has got to be the most gangster shit of all time. Oh, I got real hurt there, actually. Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to use a third. My bad. That's why we bought all of those. For moments like these. Let's fight these jerks. Toxirat has just gotten, like... That's such an insulting name. Gotcha. Come on, fire this dude. Bam. Deal with that. Let's go. Dive kick is so nasty. What an OP move. Awesome. Make way. Coming through. Dude, it dies so fast. What the hell? Oh, this. Oh, never mind. It went. It went underground. It didn't die. God dang it. You go, you piece of shit. I need somebody. That's nothing to it. Let's say I need somebody to just throw a fireball at this little piece of garbage. 
get rid of him. Oh, there's a little bunnies. I'm about, <laughs> about to start a battle with these little bunnies. Use focus thrust with this sword, that's why. That's for the other, that's for the buster. We, hey, at least we hit him once. <laughs> Master the dive kick ability, holy shit, did we really? That's fantastic for us. I don't know what that means. I definitely want to switch back to the Buster Sword. Because Focus Thrust is just one of my favorites to use. It's so visually and audibly, audioly. It's so satisfying for both to see the eyes and the ears. Again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. Damn right we do. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Great question. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? And this guy loves Not rhyming. The dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Oh, that, is, that part Nature's didn't two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. Hell no, I absolutely not. Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. First, I'm gonna steal some stuff from this place. Right under their noses, and they're not—they're not brave enough to tell me no. They know who the fuck I am. They know that I'm a soldier first class. And they got legendary chests back here, too. And a bunch of little random doodads inside. Are they gonna let me do this yet? No, never mind. That's some Chadley business. Chad Warden. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? <laughs> Got no more birds. Last the one hell are you talking morning. about? Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. Get but... a baby. I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <sighs> the thing is... Dog, I have a hundred dollars. don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. <laughs> Damn, this guy was marking up like crazy. Like but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. 
You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Yeah. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet They're that They're making fun of you, Cloud. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> what up, Clo Clo? Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. All right, time to go find this sucker. What's up with you, Sorry Chloe? about my brother. All he thinks about is me. He's just doing his job. <laughs> we understand, I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. The Sector 6 slums. I I was thinking about that place the other day, and then I was reminded that my parents left. How much more are we going to get that? What do you He's think? He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, <laughs> so... <laughs> Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help. Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. <laughs> if he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange Listen, Chloe, them I'm for poor as shit. Gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. I bought a lot of potions. I mean, I guess I'm not poor as shit. I was. I'll, I'll come. I'll buy some stuff later. Let me just steal some shit from you. <laughs> Let me just, don't look at me. I'm gonna go up the ladder real quick. Boop, 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 boop. Chloe, don't look at me. I'm up here as well. Got myself a Moogle medal. Yeah, let's go you find a little bitch ass. Let's try looking for some tracks. Oh yeah, let's rest first. Make this a little checkpoint for us. Level up as well. Beautiful. Rolling Thunder. I love these non MP sort of quick moves, non spells. Do they have? They do have material here. Lovely. I need ice and I need. Another fire. Now let's give. Let's sort of spread the love out here. Material and equipment. Tifa. You don't got shit for material right now. So we're going to. Give you 
You already have ice. Yeah, we'll give you fire. Sure, why not? Increases attack power with, while unbridled strength is active. Increases the duration of unbridled strength by 50%. Let's do that. Oh, dang. There's no cure. Nobody has cure. I should have bought cure. Maybe I can sell bike here. Can we sell some stuff to bike here? Very possible. Let's just sell some of this titanium real quick. Oh man, that gave us exactly 500. There wasn't even a cure here. I, I was looking for it. Somebody's got steel though. Sure, why not? I'm not even gonna apply it. Don't even care. Let's head out to fight. Follow the chocobo tracks. You see the feathers, we see the big, big patas in the dirt. See yeah. your ass. Come on, y'all. Let's go bag us a chocobo. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Pico. Keep you better watch your ass. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. We're here to kill, kill him spiritually, you know? Because right now he's free. And we're going to make him ours again. Turn away. Damn right, you idiot. Pick up some rocks. L1 to aim. Square to throw. Yeah, you're such an idiot. You're gonna turn around and your ass is mine. Gotcha! Gotcha! Gotcha. Good bird. I voiced the chocobo. I don't know if y'all knew that. Did y'all know that? The first time I played this part, I was like, what is this music? <laughs> what is this needle drop right here? You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> what does he want now? <laughs> it's so weird. Maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. It's such a weird tune, man. <laughs> It honestly felt like it feels like they didn't have anywhere to put this song, so there's like fuck it, put it here. Like it's too much of a bop to not have in the game. <laughs> Although you do hear the chocobos rapping on top of it. Back. Our guy. 
Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Oh, Jesus, it's this freak. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? Yeah. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I think that. I created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed Here by we the go. Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Sure, Let's I'll help you out. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. I love this. This little device is so freaking cool looking. Obtain the Chad As module. The close by, <laughs> I gotta take a you. screenshot of that. Oh, I didn't. I, all right, last 15 seconds will work. I'll take a screenshot of the screenshot. This is so awkward because he just keeps on. He just stops running. But I guess, you know, you can blame that on are. the robotics, his AI not knowing how to run. Like the boss in dynamics, you know, you kick them and they kind of stumble. Ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Ow, oh, the sound effect kind of hurt my ear. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chadley will employ the data you collect to develop new materia, create new combat simulations, and embark on other scientific endeavors. Activate the Remna Wave Towers you encounter to help Ch and help Chadley deepen your understanding of I this I hope world. you will assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. Chadley, you have beautiful eyes. In return, eyes. I will use the information you provide to develop new materia. Quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Uh, nah, I'm pretty chill, bro. Thank you. Though. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? 
Ooh, baby. Fire and ice materia. Are you kidding me? A double double? I love it. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Those first few challenges are insanely tough. <laughs> so I'm not going to challenge Titan immediately in his combat simulator because his health just does not go down. But one of the mechanics is you go and find some stuff in the world and then you can lower the health more or make it easier and easier to fight Titan in that combat simulator. But the more things you go out and find. Um... So, we have heal, let's give heal to Aerith, shall we? Or, you have fire and assess, here's the thing, let's give you the fire and ice, let's take off heal, So I really, I, I really want Aerith to just have heal. It's kind of crazy that she doesn't have, she has prayer, wind. Yeah. Increases wind damage by 10%. She has wind, oh, she does have wind material move. That's right. Wait, what, what was your other option? Timeless Rod. I mean, this, this, this one's way better. So far. Fire damage, wind, prayer, healing. And we can give you the other fire. And now you have fire damage up. Let's go. Come on, that's perfect. I love that. Oh, let's get let's give Baird a buttload of health. That sounds awesome. Red thirteen has some really sick moves. All right, let's take away Chakra. Let's give you Ice. You already have two Ices. Shit. Let's give you back your stupid-ass Chakra. <laughs> or F it. Let's give you a Cess for now. Pico's Prep. All right, we already did the thing. We talked to Chadley. Now we can talk back to you. Get uh, get Pico. Get a little land on Pico. Everybody's relationship smileys are pretty. No smile, nothing. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. You got it. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Hold on, I was gonna talk to your sister. I was gonna try to turn Welcome in some folks. stuff. I have two golden plumes. And I want my Chocobo to have an awesome helmet. No. I want my chocobo to have an awesome breastplate. That seems cool as shit. <laughs> if you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Okay. We're a one stop shop for oh, all your real chocobo quick, let me needs. Just, uh, what else can we? Never mind. Thank you for stopping by. No problem. I'm gonna make my chocobo look sick as shit. Oh yeah, dog. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh, hell yeah, dog. We're gonna look so cool. Look at... Where you at? Where you at? You look like a mecca right here. Oh, call Chocobo. Here's where we get I feel like our my neck needs to pop, but I can't. Oh, what man, races? you look awesome. The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? I'm not falling, Billy, okay? Let's do this. This way. Oh, sorry. I got to talk to you first. My bad. I was ready to race. Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna race. Let's do this. Off to a beautiful start. Speed, aggression, agility. You idiot, you idiot. We already we already lost our world record pace. Pico, you're pissing me off. Fucking Pico de Gallo. Chocobo's kind of like a chicken. Think about it. I need first place. That was something else. You and Pico are might even have what it takes to. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds you might want to swing by. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. I'm not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since mom left. <laughs> we did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. No, it it sucked, Aerith. It sucked. But sure, I'll... Uh, gonna do this just for publicity what's up I want to fucking race again <laughs> I want rank one give me that victory dominate this no errors perfect corners precision This is a world record if I've ever seen one. Sit tight, folks. Where were you the day that Andy blew the goddamn record out of the water? Keep riding like that and you'll clean up at the races. Thank you. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Side hustle. What's it? What's it? What's what, what you got, Chloe? What you got for me? What do you need me to do for you? She won't confide in me. Be like, will you be my mommy and daddy? Or <laughs> mine left. Oh hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. <laughs> well, the thing is. I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know Chloe, how I could. Chloe, I got you, baby girl. Idea. Maybe we could do the picking for And yes, you. I will become your father. Sure. Cloud, thoughts? Me and, me and your mother think it's a great idea. Chloe. Ask your brother. <laughs> My parents died in an accident when I was really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. 
We used to go on these family picnics. And after we were done eating, mom would make flower crowns. You just hear Cloud go, ah, boring. And Billy, I'd wear mine for days. I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason mom and dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. She sounds like she's a British actress doing an American accent. We'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. No problem. I can't do a cloud voice. I don't got it in me. All right, where the hell's your dang mission at? Where the heck is your gosh darn mission at? Ow. Quests. View objective on map. God dang, that's far out there. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my, oh, we, we got our chocobo though. We got a chocobo. So I'm not too concerned. Oh, let me jump over the fence, will ya? Would ya? Where ya, you little son of a gun? Let's ride like the wind. Oh, I love gathering stuff on the chocobo too. I forgot how awesome it feels. Oh, look. Oh, where are you leading us? Where are you leading us, little owl? You're leading us to a little secret spot. Yeah, this is what I was trying to get earlier. See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should help us learn about the area. Surveying LifeSpring grants the wisdom of the life stream, revealing new points of interest. Following a spring seeker owl will lead you to a life spring, its natural habitat. That be a life stream. <laughs> Seems to be a life spring. <laughs> Owl's just going nuts up there. Cool. We did. We did some stuff. Calm, a recent history. Surveying Livespring allows you to decipher the knowledge of the livestream, revealing regional intel. Press touchpad, then select Chadley, then region intel to learn about the history and ecology of the area. Oh, he's calling us back. Confirmed. Data received. Livespring such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra to exploit. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. I will, Chadley. Thank you for the help, homie. I hope you're doing well, and I wish you, I wish you the best in all you do. Truly and honestly. Alright, let's see here. That's not where I want to be. I want to be... I don't wanna be anything I don't want to be anything Oh, we're still headed this way Which is like, this is real far out, man Far out, man Oh, I can't like jump off and hover down That'd be so lit if I could Just Slide canceling chocobo I'm ignoring y'all. I don't want to fight right now. I'm reformed. I don't engage in combat anymore. Dang it, I can't. I gotta go. I gotta go to the bridge. Oh 
Where's the little baby chocobo? This is usually where the baby chocobo leads you. I'm just gonna sit down. I'm gonna use my little my little rest thing. Does it pop up even if I? Oh, there it is! It's running. Here it comes. Where is it at? It sleeps right near my feet. Where is it? I see it. It's, it was next to red over here. Hey there, little baby. Too late. You didn't do your job. I got here too fast. <laughs> oh, I've never done this before. I never picked up a sign. What? Oh, I have to hold. Oh. I guess I never saw this option whenever I'd, I've been to like six or seven rest stops. Damn, so I bet you I was putting down rest stops but not actually doing them. He's a good little boy. Oh my god, you're a little cutie. <laughs> so cute. Come on. It's so freaking cute. Oh, another tower. Uh. Oh, dang. I thought I gave myself... Oh. I'm not realizing I put fire and ice on the other sword, I think. I'm a dummy. Do it. I got this. Chrono Aegis. Let's keep it up. Oh man, we dominated. Didn't have to use Chrono Aegis, whatever that is. I think the game audio is probably way too loud. It's like it's just it's so dynamic, like the quiet moments are so quiet, and then you get into battle and it's just using really loud sounds. Take that, Chadley. Hope you like that, homie. Hey, what's up with you? Hey, who the hell are you? Lovely. Alright, well shoot man, we still got a we still got a freaking trek. No way, it's wait, where is it, bro? No fucking shot. That's past the gosh darn city. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's past the whole city. There's no way, homie. <laughs> There's no way. Hey, little girl, your parents, I'm sure they're going to be fine. Wherever they may be. Okay? That, that's ridiculous. That's so far away, little girl. I wish you the best in all you do. <laughs> There's no way. There's just no chance I'm going all the way over there. Unreal. That's crazy. Off we go. Sorry, y'all. Didn't mean to didn't mean to disappoint you all, but uh. I'm no hero. I'm no hero. That's like the closest I'll get to doing a, a cloud impression. Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack 
attack when I'm weak. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if he knows how to serve their intent before they attack. I don't doubt a word of can. Oh, that's right. We could sniff the air, little chocobos. Nothing nearby. It's okay. All right, let's let's get to it. Let's push forward. So, make sure this is safe. Heard lock into the bar with damn your bodies. Plus, there's that giant man eating serpent. Bill assured us the chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Uh oh, here we go. Hey, Cloud, do you know? I do notice the sparkling minerals. Yeah, they're right in front of me. These are known as guide stones, crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminate. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia. So I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. All right. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the Age of Myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea. Coming the grasslands. Lore, we just got a little lore dump from Chadley. <laughs> Six swing, Andy. This music right here is always so intense. I hate that angle of Chadley. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal this caliber before. <laughs> to think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deform entity. I'm counting on you. That's the most robotic he's ever looked. Attempt to analyze the tiny crystal? Yes. It's kind of a cute little mini game. Not really a mini game, just a small, tiny side activity. Bam, 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 bam. We are a metronome. Are we are a metro shit gnome? I messed up the first one, or the second one, but I had it. Bum, 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 bum. Um. Pretty spot on. What else you got for me, Chadley? Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Perfect. I think is there a chest or just some boxes? Come on. I don't see Seth, Do you? 
you? No, I don't. I mean, I see this guy. You all see this guy. So nothing? Like, we're just okay with this guy standing here? You know what I mean? Like, we're not expecting... Oh, a high caliber rifle. Nice. You all don't think that's freaky? That this dude's just here? Here it comes. Freak show up at. You water stop, bitch. The bear is just over there. <laughs> the hell are you doing, dog? Burn. Am I going the right way? Oh no, I'm supposed to keep going this way. Is that dry land I see? Let's go. Oh, oh, it's moving. Oh, he is there. What the? Hey, get back here right now. Oh, shit. It's a big ass snake. Disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had no focus. No. Ah. Beat its ass, Andy. Beat its ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. You just took it real hard. Deal with that. Here goes. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Run away and run away. Run away. Pure cloud. Stay strong, okay? Oh Jesus. They cure me now, Jesus. Holy shit. Oh god, perfect timing, Andy. Assess! I got you now. Ice. Great block, dude. That's a massive block. Get ready. Wow, that hurt quite a bit, actually. Don't overdo it. Aim for the head, guys. Be careful. This thing's already pissed off enough. Ow! What the fuck? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got for this freaking thing? Come on. Oh man, you went for the chomp, huh? Cranial dome. Keep it together. I 
Uh, oh no, actually, you do a cure on Tifa, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. Oh, no, he said, fuck on this! Back up, homie. Every time I switch, they're just like right in line to take it. Man, Cloud is just hurting right now. Right on the dome ski. Oh, it's going nuts. It's going nuts. Berserker mode. Is it absorbing heat? Not good. Yeah, just back Everyone, up, dog. Everybody just get the freak back now. Uh, deal with that. Let me handle this. Let's do this right. Everybody just push up. use my limit yet either oh this move I have no idea how to fucking avoid that move I never avoided uh, <laughs> when I first did this boss fight. Oh, synergy abilities. Let's go, dude. These abilities not uh, only deal tremendous damage, but they also apply unique buffs, such as increase the limber breaks, granting unlimited MP, or extend duration. Enemies are staggered. Note that the repeated use of a synergy ability will increase the amount of synergy required to activate it. So this thing's weak to... Man, we don't really have anything ice. You know? But Divine Punishment sounds sick as shit. Calling ice. Oh, shit. Certain synergy abilities can raise the character's limit level, which will in turn unlock more powerful limit break attacks. For example, Cloud can perform Cross Slash at limit level 1 and Ascension at level 2. Gotcha. Damn, dog. Alright, right here we just need, I need uh, Focus Thrust the cranial dome and I need Tifa let's do a little uh, dive kick on that cranial dome and then Aerith what do you got for me mommy nothing you just you're you're lovely Aerith you just keep doing your thing you're a sweetheart I do need to heal myself as Aerith no big deal you'll see I got this. Oh, talk. Uh oh, 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 it's this one. Hey, I don't, I don't really know how to deal with that shit. Oh, cloud. No, we're gonna wait till the final phase. Spoilers, there's a third phase. Oh, bitch ass.
a cure on Cloud, please, Aaron. Oh no, it's doing that move again. Oh no. Oh yeah, this shit. I remember this. <laughs> it's not the right song, but you know what I mean. Sorry about that. Awesome. It's your turn. Let's do this. Final phase. Oh shit. <laughs> Parrot. Dude, this tune is just so sick, man. Damn, dude, the way he just ratchets up, man. Are you fucking kidding me? Uh-oh, Cloud's unconscious. Phoenix down. And then I'm gonna try to... Pure cloud. Stay strong, okay? You've got it. Let's call in the chocobo right of now. Course. Let's let's do it. So hype. This is so unbelievably high, man. Watch the water. Just, they just beat the shit out of Cloud, dude. This guy. Oh, you gotta go hit that cranial dome. Cloud's out of the fight, dude. Does that mean the chocobos are done too? Oh, this fight just took a turn. Get to the shore. Hit now. Get to the shore. Shit, this is bad, bro. Let the wind correct you. Oh, please heal us all. Massive ult. I dodged that. That's a bunch of BS. Clutch uh. heal. I gotta get. I gotta. I gotta freaking. Cloud fell unconscious. Here comes the final move from the summons. He's unconscious, but he's alive still. But you know, if he's dead, but he's alive. He's got a big concussion. Alright, we need to bring Cloud back. And then Cloud has a freaking. Man, what a clutch freaking block that was. Yeah. 
Cloud is unconscious again. Son of a fuck. Fucking end this fight. Oh, the perfect final move. Let's go, dude. It's so sick. It's so cool. Good job, Cloud. you back cloud Sephiroth no <laughs> you keep saying that no. I knew he was strong but still all Those these creeps for him too they've got to be yeah I kind of get that feeling as well Let's not lose her. And we won't lose him. Or will we? You'll have to find out in the next episode, gamers. Uh, pr appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all like this. If you did, leave a comment down below. And if you didn't, just comment for the algorithm anyway. Give me your Final Fantasy Top 5 rankings. Mine so far, Final Fantasy 16 is number one. Number two, Final Fantasy 7 Remake is number two. And number three, probably this. Number four, Final Fantasy 10. And I think that's it. I think that's all I've played. Yeah. Put Advent Children as number five, maybe. We'll see you next time, gamers. Thank you so much for watching.